All right, beta test one, two, three. I am testing today in videos RTX GeForce panel on advanced ray tracing for simulated games. And specifically, what we want to test today is Mortal Kombat 1. And I'm going to be testing the NVIDIA GeForce Game Sync or G Sync uh, options, which is going to be on game filters. And I'm going to showcase what it does look without the RTX um, or GeForce game filters right now. And this is your standardized filter look and feel of how the game actually looks. It looks like a PlayStation 5 game. And this looks great um, on its own, but it's severely lacking quality and texturizations and filters. Um, this can be mainly seen on PlayStation and Xbox where you would see it less enhanced than the actual PC rendering where we can enhance it on RTX modes and virtually filters or different capabilities using graphics cards. And from what we see from the looks of it, this is a very, very big thing that's happening in the industry right now. We'll be using actual desktops and laptops to actually project things onto 4Ks and 8K monitors, which is going to enhance the experience or better experience of our games. And from the looks of things, I've enhanced it in various different modes around the filters from styles, from styles level one, we've enhanced a vanilla effect or a very pastel effect onto the screen projecting RTX, shadows, ray tracing, and the water effects. And basically you can see the ray trace particle effects onto the objects like the ceiling of, of the building or the stages, the RTX shadows uh, from trees and reflective objects, and we can stylize that a little bit more. So from what we're seeing, the enhancements right now on the screen is basically done from the skins, the textures, and the water effects looks way more blur. You can see a lot more clarity and details in the background environments. And this is actually done in specific settings which we've tested from the gameplay. Some of the settings we had to tone down, some of the settings we can really, really push it to its max. This will increase the gameplay and manage the risk of frame skipping. And from what we've seen, we've made a new filter that actually looks a lot like 3D. So the 3D environments or this 3D environment is looking a lot better. I mean, it looks so much more stylized, way more cooler from the density and the colorization or temperature, but you can see this is really stepped up and we can see this temperature we've lowered, we've lowered all the tint ratios to the tint intensity and we've increased the vibrancy to about a 20 something percentage mark. And this actually gives us the color and the tone that we want when projecting on an 8K uh, screen, an 80 inch screen or 85 inch screen. And from what we're looking from this, this um, the details, the sharpening, we placed it under the 50% mark. Clarity, we've managed to really, really increase and give you a very smooth type of effect and toning we've managed to uh, push this to 100% as well. And then we're gonna look at the sharpening effects, which has really, really come a long way. For the intensity, we've moved to 50% and the ignore grain flum to about 100%. From this scenario, we looked at styles on level three. This is looking the best right now when projected onto displayed large format displays. And from the looks of it on screen, from a laptop screen, the level two is looking a little bit more stylized for your PCs and laptops uh, screens with G-Sync or anything with 144 Hertz display and above on active G-Sync, this would meet your requirements. But producing it on 8K right now, I really like this. And this is looking way more enhanced than a PlayStation or Xbox will look from a stylization perspective. I mean, look at this. This looks absolutely phenomenal. I mean, it works so, so well. There's no actual frame skipping. The colors look very vivid and we can actually see the objects moving very, very well on screen. So let's look at a simple combo. 
this looks great. I mean, the 3D rendering is off the mark. We can see the shadow effects, the fire in the background, and basically all the shadows that the objects are moving exceptionally clearly and exceptionally fluid. I mean, this is fantastic. Nice. All right, and that is some of the numerous filters and effects that we can give for virtually a pastel mode to enhance desktop or laptop screen or for projector mode um, where we want to push things for 8K. These are the phenomenal experiences or the phenomenal increases that we can do from our GPU graphics card settings for an output rendering on Mortal Kombat 1, Tekken, Street Fighter, or any game that you would want to specifically utilize for um, professional or fun or competitive gameplay. This is great using NVIDIA G-Sync's um, GeForce panels. Nice. This is a good beta test. Nice.